Okay, well, in another group, um, I noticed that someone had received as a gift this pen, which is called the Elegant Writer. And it is by um, Speedball. And I had posted in that group a video that I had seen a few years ago um, that introduced me to this product. And it's like magic. And the people in the group had never seen it before. So I started thinking, well, maybe a lot of people haven't seen it before. And um, what I'll do in the down the description, I'll put a link. Um, she's just wonderful at what she does. She's an artist, and she's a watercolor artist. And she uses this pen, and she just creates magic. Now, I don't know how to draw. I don't know how to watercolor. I don't know how to do any of that. And in spite of that fact, um, you can do beautiful things. So I thought I would just do a quick video for those that feel they can't do it. Um, I am proof that you can because I do not know how to watercolor. My biggest problem is I don't know how to shadow. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> so if I can create some little magic with this, I do this to show you that you can create the same magic. Now I don't understand how this works. I know it's ink. <laughs> I know that it's water soluble. And this is basically what happens when you just run. <laughs> oh. oh dear, isn't this beautiful? When you just run your water over this. Look at all this. Look how beautiful. You don't have to know how it works, why it works. It just does. And it starts creating this beautiful background. It's so pretty that, you know, you could just leave it as is. Or you can come back and bring some color into it. Whatever you decide to do. And of course, as much or as little water you want to put on it, you can make it bleed more or less. And then what's really neat about this is you can see the colors right here that are forming and you can you can blot this and because of the pigments in there you can lift it up and if you lift it up it exposes the red within that black, the red and the blue. And so it can really vary. You can see that being picked up. Now there's an open time. I'm not exactly sure how much. But you can come back and you can reactivate it within a certain period of time. But after this, everything that has been wet, after a certain period of time, it becomes permanent. So like if you have those DeWitt pencils, you know how they are water soluble, but then once you've activated them and they dry, then they're permanent. And this works the same way. And so what is suggested is after you do all this to make sure that everything has been activated because you might think it has been but there might be some lines or something that wasn't touched by the water if you just get a little mister 
and very lightly, I don't have one right now, I forgot to get one, um, very lightly, mist it so that everything is activated, and then just let it dry, and then after it has been dried, then it'll be permanent, and then you can come in if you want and fill in. You can paint it, whatever it is that you want to do. And then your um, it'll be permanent and you won't be activating it, you know, and smudging it all over. So, I'm getting a little, <laughs> a little mesmerized here. Let's pick up a little bit here and see the the different hues, the pink that comes out. Isn't that neat? It's kind of mesmerizing, huh? <laughs> show what you've done. You go, wait a minute, I thought you couldn't paint. <laughs> Those colors need to pick up a little bit here. Get some of that pink going. Like I said, I forgot to get my mister. I don't know where it is right now. So I'm trying to activate everything that I can see. Okay. And then of course it's going to dry really quick. Like I said on some of them, it might be already too late to reactivate it here, but let's check. Yeah, see, it's already, it's already permanent. So you can see how that works. Down here, though, it wasn't done that long ago. Maybe we can reactivate it. Yeah, see, we can reactivate it here still a little bit. Yeah, because it's not completely dry. There's still some up here. Okay. Let's get some shadow in here. So we'll let that dry, and I'll show you these other ones I was playing with earlier. Um, what I did with what I did with these is um, I did a small one on here, and then I came back with a little bit of purple watercolor, very little, because it had already bled into these purple colors. And then I just used um, 
a white pen just to highlight and filled in the rest with some watercolor in the back. And I kind of did the same thing with this one, just experimenting with the different colors. But most of this is just all that. The only thing I brought in was a little bit of the yellow. Otherwise, the flower part, it's all um, this pen. And then I thought I would try um, just uh, some other, other colors in there. And did this with just writing some lines, and that was about it. And then, um, I'm not sure if this is a leaf or a feather, <laughs> but still, uh, just filled it in with some watercolor again once this had all been dried. And that was it. And, um, it's just really neat. So, if you're so inclined, I would get myself one of these elegant writers. I know that, let me see, I know if you get the pack of them, hold on right here, they have a packet of them, package of three, and it comes in um, the black, blue, and red, and I think this was about six dollars for all three, so they're not very expensive at all for their dramatic um, results. Um, these colors here, let me get real quick a piece of paper. Now these don't, um, you don't get the variation that you do with the black because of the I guess because of the colors that make up the black, but when you do the, um, for instance, when you do the, I get the right side, the red, it will still do it, but you're only going to get the red. You're not going to get the variation that you get with the black. It's just going to activate. That's about it. And the same for the blue. So if you're buying these, you know, to get this result, um, I would suggest get the, just getting the black because you're not going to get anything dramatic with these. It's just going to be like watercolor. But for the drama factor, <laughs> I would definitely get the black one because look how gorgeous this looks. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to um, fill it in and I'll show you how I finish it. Alright, so all I did was fill in whatever was left white. Didn't use anything special. I used these really inexpensive Crayola uh, watercolors. Filled it in. And, um, and now just real quick to finish it off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a thin line here and so what I'll do is I'll just create like a border and then I'm going to activate it and whoops and that whoops will be it <laughs> A lot of whoops here. Okay, let's see how this all works out.
And what's so neat about this is you really do have just a limited control of where it goes and what it does. It kind of has a mind of its own. But it's pretty cool. Maybe we can get some of that more of the red. And then when you do that, it picks up the other one too, so it does give you kind of a cool border. And then once this dries, it should be permanent. Again, once you're done with your whole painting, um, don't forget to get that mister and um, so that you know you make sure that it really is totally activated and permanent. And there you go. All I used was this and this and you get that and I know what you're gonna say oh wait Rosemary you drew that on there I can't draw well no I didn't draw that on there all I did is I got this piece of wallpaper and I got some carbon paper I put that on put that on there traced it out and that's how I um, created the base for um, the painting. So you don't have to have any skill except to be able to trace and write with a pen and wet everything down and you end up with all these uh, different pieces of art. So I encourage you to go out there and get your elegant writer and get busy.